What is the shittiest way you've been woken up? Punched in the head by my now ex-wife. She dreamt I cheated on her. She acknowledged it was a dream. Was still pee at me for it 3 days later. I had spent the entire day and evening at the hospital. Sitting at my mother's bedside in IQ. She was very ill and in a coma. But the docs were all quite optimistic. My stepfather and I bundled into my car and we went to his apartment to get some sleep. A half hour later the phone rings. Blowing me out of an exhausted slumber. It was the hospital. We need you to come to the hospital right away. She had suffered a heart attack. They got it going again quickly. But 10 minutes later it stopped beating and commenced quivering instead. It took the IQ staff about 15 minutes to get it restarted. But she was on heroic amounts of life support. We got there. Were taken into a meeting room. The doctor explained what had occurred and that it was going to preclude her from getting the liver transplant she needed. Never mind the likely brain damage he would have suffered. And we signed the withdrawal of life support approval. She lasted about 5 minutes after that. Worst wake up call ever. Dude, I feel you. I was woken up to hear that my grandma died. After 4 months of coma. Because of a hemorrhage. By raw sewage pouring through my ceiling. In my bedroom. From my upstairs neighbor. He partied and ripped the toilet out of the floor, then continued using it. Took maintenance almost 16 hours to show up and turn off the flow. <laughs> Neighbor decided to hang shelves in her bathroom after midnight and drilled into our shared wall. Scared the crap out of me. I read that at first as neighbor decided to hang themselves and thought oh, this is taking a dark turn. <laughs> this is the captain. A second aircraft has crashed into the World Trade Center towers. The country is under attack. Sound general quarters. I was in the British army at the time. I remember watching the second plane go in as it happened. That same day the CO had us outside on parade. And told us to expect a desert deployment in our very near future. There was a summer where I was taking care of a friend of a friend's rat. I loved that rat. And he got me through the first summer that I was spending on my own. Bit one time. This little sucker bit me in the eyelid at 3am and walked away. I love you. Pith. But what the frig? He needed a midnight snack. Last Sunday I got woken up at 6am by a bat that started flying and screeching inside the Tola shutter box in my bedroom. It made mess and I was so confused. It took me a while to realize what was going on. If there was any chance that a bat was loose in your bedroom, you should get a rabies shot ASAP. Bats are a common carrier and the symptoms of rabies typically don't show up until it's too late for treatment. I had a dream where I heard a high pitched whine. In my dream I thought it was something electronic. It got worse and I couldn't find the source. It started stressing me out and it woke me up. Turns out it was real, and it was inside my head. I developed tinnitus in middle of the night. Had it ever since. I'm only 40. I can't stress this enough. You do not want tinnitus. Protect your ears. Use earplugs when you mow the lawn. Use power tools. Vacuum. And go to concerts. Don't blast your music. You'll regret it for the rest of your days if you do. The phone woke me up a little after midnight. I was informed that my mother had died. It was not totally unexpected. Her health had been declining. I still dread hearing the phone ring late at night. Probably the time I woke up to hear my dad screaming for my mom because he cut the tips of his fingers off in the snow blower. Neighbor shot through my bedroom wall because she was playing with her new gun. Edit. Dang y'all. This isn't a city versus rural thing. She was a country girl. Mainly though she was a nut that should have never been given a gun by her idiot boyfriend. Rural people don't understand why city people are so anti-gun. This. This is why. My dog having some sort of episode and falling off the bed straight into the dresser at 3am. When he got to his feet, he staggered a bit and then pee all over the floor. We tried to get him outside but he puked before we could. He wasn't right for 3 days, but he pulled through. He's my best friend and I was terrified. Sounds like a seizure. My dog would pee and sometimes throw up from them was sleeping over at a friend's. He just got a new fancy couch with LED lights and built-in speakers. I thought the speakers only worked with an aux cord but when I was woken up by a loud as frick distorted Russian anthem, I learned they also connected via Bluetooth. Funny, but in perspective I'd probably crap myself. 
My clumsy fiance was leaving for a work trip at 4am. Obviously, I was still asleep as he was leaving. He walked over to my side of the bed to give me a kiss goodbye, assuming I wouldn't even wake up, except, he forgot that he was holding a large cup of ice cold water, as he bent over to give me a kiss on the cheek, the water spilled all over me waking me up instantly from a deep midwinter sleep. Dang at least it wasn't a hot coffee. My first night at an adolescent behavioral unit after attempting suicide I had to sleep on a mattress in the common room because my roommate, who I hadn't met yet, was having some sort of episode. I woke up to her slamming her fists into my side and then running away, with several nurses chasing her. Wait, the worst was a phone call telling me my mom had passed away, and the doctor was so rude. She had been in a nursing home for just a few days and the doctor couldn't get a hold of my stepdad. So he called me. He said she had been brought in in cardiac arrest. I asked if she was okay. And he said no. She's dead. That was my worst wake up ever. That's horrible. I'm so sorry for you. My cats were chasing each other and one ran across my face while I was sleeping. The scratches were pretty bad all across one side of my face. It was the day before my senior prom too. So I ended up having a scratched up face for that. I still have a scar right by my eye. Police department knocking on my door at 2am saying the M lab across the street might blow up so we need to get out ASAP. Glass shattering in the next room and intense loud arguing between parents. Area evacuation because of a dangerous individual. The one that instantly comes to mind for me is when what does the fox say was something I heard on full blast on my speaker downstairs. Thanks people I live with. When my husband and I first started seeing each other he had an alarm on his phone that was a Dalek very loudly saying exterminate. I'm a pretty big fan of Doctor Who, but that scared the absolute crap out of me. Worst freaking alarm ever. I got woken up by a bat flying around the top of my room pretty early in the morning a few years ago. Surprisingly, I'm a light sleeper when I hear things that shouldn't be going on while I'm sleeping, like the time I got woken up by a cockroach running into some Venetian blinds that then ran past me. Get a rabies shot. Bats are very good at transmitting rabies, biting you without you knowing, and rabies cannot show symptoms for over to 80 years, and once you start showing symptoms, it's too late. My cats ran across my face with all their claws out. I looked like I'd fallen into a bale of barbed wire. To make matters worse, one of them ricocheted off the bathroom wall and knocked three potted plants into the toilet. It was not a good morning. Been there, ugh. A black bear was outside my tent. One of the dudes I was hiking with starting shouting hey hey hey. I had no idea what was going on until after. I hanged my food bag but I had some stuff I couldn't clean yet with food scents in my pack. They usually run off but if they get too familiar they get dangerous real quick. I had a bear literally walk over my tent once. It almost collapsed it. Coffee pot smashed over my head. My friend was out with a bunch of chicks in a hot tub cheating on his chick and his chick came over had drinks with my chick and she convinced my chick I was at the hot tub cheating as well. After coming to I said how the frick can I be there cheating if you just woke me up? W. T. F. By a boner. I was so exhausted from uni that I fell asleep on the train. Beside me was a stranger and he let me sleep on his lap. I don't know what happened and why he let me but I suppose I fell asleep on his shoulder then to his lap. I woke up feeling something pressing against my cheek. I was drooling too and very much embarrassed. I get being embarrassed that you fell asleep on a stranger. But they oddly let you keep sleeping and they liked it so much they developed a boner. I would say that part should be embarrassing for them. Successive explosions followed by automatic weapons fire. I had been averaging around 2 hours sleep a night for about 2 weeks at that point and had just come off watch and fallen asleep. I did not get back to sleep that night. Your aunt passed away this morning. ALS is a horrible disease. She suffered with it for 3 years. I was extremely upset, but part of me was relieved to know she wasn't suffering anymore. Like 17 18 or so was knocked out before class started, asleep on my stomach. I felt something on my back. Didn't pay too much attention was like 90% asleep still. Trying to fall back asleep, I felt something lightly drag across my back. 
so I peek over my shoulder to look, and this spider like peeks back over my shoulder and looks at me like I did something wrong. I slap it off me, it hits the bed, and hundreds of baby spiders splatter everywhere and just start running crazily. I legit undid my bed sheets, rolled everything up and threw away everything. Mum wasn't happy I threw all my stuff away, but I wasn't taking any chances. But you didn't burn it, and therefore, they were still alive. They remember. They will tell their children for generations what you've done, and one day one of their descendants will exact their revenge on you. The space shuttle Columbia exploding over East Texas, my entire house shook and things fell off my dresser and just a horrible loud noise. This was in 2003 so I thought we were being attacked, young teenage mind jumping to wild conclusions. Then my thoughts raced towards the factory my dad working at had exploded. All our neighbors were outside freaking out. My mom and I sat in front of the TV waiting for news of any kind. So sad once we found out what happened. People I knew found shuttle parts in their yards and on their land. I have a friend who would have been on that flight if he didn't fail his medical tests. He flew three shuttle missions, and everyone on that flight was a friend of his. Surgical drain moved. Bit of a long story. So yeah balls can, for whatever reason, time, pressure, they dislike their sense of fashion, etc, have the protective sacks surrounding them not yeah bile sack, the interior padding, flood with bodily fluid, a mix of blood and other humors, or anguish yellow and smelly, my left one was the size of a cam of monster energy, every time I wore tight pants, it looked like I was smacking the biggest dong around. Not quite, in a hoe, I had it pierced and stitched up, scars the size of my pinky finger, so to ensure that my nuts weren't drowning, the good doc put a drain sticking out of the bottom of my sack, sensitive, it was moved, rather harshly, by my darling cat curling up betwixt my legs, obviously had a blanket between us, don't want kitty laying anywhere that close to me, so yeah, my balls got jostled, and not in a fun way, had to burn the mattress, TL. DR ball surgery hurts. Glass shattering. Lived in a 6 story apartment building. The neighbor in the building across from us was having some kind of psychotic break and was throwing everything he could get his hands on off his balcony. He was aiming for the windows of other apartments. We were far enough away to not get hit but watching that go down was not super fun. People along the street behind our house decided to shoot at each other, was pretty loud, also had lightning strike the neighbor's tree, was also pretty loud. When I was a kid, we were dirt poor and lived in the northeast US. The heat was never on in winter because we couldn't afford oil. My mom would wake us up for school by yanking the blankets and sleeping bags off and yelling at us to get the frick up. This continued until I got a job and used some of my first paycheck to buy an alarm clock. My parents were not kind. That sounds like a very cold winter. My husband has bad night terrors set off by scents. We recently found out. He woke up in full fight mode. Fight or flight. And he grabbed me to get me to safety. Ended up pushing me out of bed and crouched over me. But it freaked me out so bad. My heart rate was through the roof and I started crying. And then he woke up and went back to sleep like nothing happened. I laugh pretty good when I think about it now. But dang, now I just say wake up when he starts his night terrors and luckily it works for now. At least his deepest instinct is to protect you. My siblings are just little devils and they would smack me in the face as hard as they can to wake me up even though I am not a heavy sleeper at all. They just did it for fun. It was 6am on a Saturday, my mom calling me crying to tell me my grandpa had died of covid after testing positive earlier that week. We were in the middle of a huge COVID surge in the area where I live and I was really stressing about it due to all of the overtime at work. It's hard to explain the miasma of anger and sadness and rage I felt all at once. Second to that is Youth of a Nation by Pod playing at ridiculous volume when I was an RSP for the army. Frick that. My aunt was screaming at me and hitting me because I didn't do something she wanted me to do. It was terrifying to wake up being hit and yelled at I wasn't even confused I was just so scared. A couple come to mind. 1. I was asleep and woke up to my cat growling. He had left half a bird on my chest. It was just the wings and ribs and no blood or guts. But still extremely gross. 2. Woke up to a live snake in my bed. 
cat had brought it in and was playing with it. Very uncool to wake up facing a pee off snake. 3. Woke up to screams and basically watched my neighbors burn to death at 2am. Their apartment was directly opposite my kitchen so it was a direct view. My father flipped my mattress over at 5am. This was in high school. In high school I had terrible insomnia and slept at most 4 hours a night. My mother was sick and was having heart surgery that day, but no one decided to inform me of that. This is a running theme. She almost died twice before this and to this day no one will tell me anything about it. I don't even know what her disease is called. I'd been asleep for maybe 40 minutes. After trying all night to pass out. When I'm woken up by screaming and my mattress flipping. My father called me a terrible. And grateful bee who doesn't give a crap about my mother because I didn't tell her I love her and see her off to the surgery I didn't even know she was having. I was also not allowed to go to the hospital with them and was expected to go to school like nothing was happening. That was a fun day. Some mad old see I used to live with. Smashing on my bedroom door at 3am. Said he was having a heart attack. I got him downstairs and called an ambulance. The ambulance crew got there and checked him, said he was alright. He later told me that I needed to keep my phone on loud in case he had a real heart attack. What a freaking dong wamble. Dong wamble. As an American this is a great sounding thing. Care to elaborate on its usage and what nation came up with this? Had just fallen asleep on an overnight flight from Atlanta to Amsterdam. Mask on ear, plugs in, when suddenly a rush of cold liquid all over me. The flight attendant had tripped and spilled an entire cup of Diet Coke on me. Hope they offered you a bump up to business class at the very least. Babe, babe, um HHHRR, babe, what, do you hear that annoying sound? No, I was sleeping, but I do now. FML. Stop recording me. One night I got drunk and decided to pass out next to a raised road overpass type thing. I was basically next to a concrete wall, surrounded by trees with the road about 10m slash 30 feet above. Apparently they use a special machine to trim the trees along the roadway. Of course they do this at night when there is less traffic. I woke half drunk to a robotic arm with a chainsaw on it directly above me, slowly moving along trimming the trees. My grandmother was a big part of my abuse as a child. At the time of this story, my parents were poor and lost our house so me and my brother shared a room at my grandparents house. My grandmother would have unpredictable moods and it terrifies everyone. I had a difficult time sleeping so I'd stay up past 12am a lot and sleep in the afternoon. My grandma had enough of me sleeping in and would bang on my door to wake me up. That would trigger my fight or flight and I'd freak out. It was a horrible way of waking me up. She did this all the time to me and my brother and it really pee us off. When I would eventually go back to sleep after being woken up, I'd nap for another hour before she banged on it again. She'd yell at me to wake up and if I didn't she would force me out of the room and forbid me to sit in my bed or even go in my room. I'm out of the house now and I'm living with my aunt. My ex's dad knocking on the door of a friend's house him and I, or so I thought, stayed at one night. Turns out my ex took a bunch of Xanax after we had both been drinking. I fell asleep. He stole my car and went on an all night bender of robbing houses. Got caught red handed at like 8am outside a house he'd just burglarized and there had been a little girl upstairs home alone who called the police. She claimed he full on kicked their dog, which honestly was one of the more alarming aspects. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.